So typically, when people trade cryptocurrencies, they go to an exchange like Coinbase, which just had its IPO, and they buy a Bitcoin in hopes that the value of that cryptocurrency is going to rise. But it's a lot harder if you want to bet against the cryptocurrency or if you want to bet on the value of this specific cryptocurrency compared to another cryptocurrency, you can't really do that as easily on those traditional exchanges. Enter cryptocurrency derivative exchanges, which are exactly designed to fill this kind of need. So instead of just betting on the value of something, you're kind of more betting on trends. Cryptocurrency derivative exchanges compared to traditional cryptocurrency exchanges have another major difference, which is that they allow you to do what's called leveraged trading. So let me give you an example. If you go to a casino and you bet $1 on something, you might make $100 from that bet. It's the same thing in cryptocurrency derivative markets. You can say, I want to bet $1 that say the value of Bitcoin is going to go up. And if it does go up, by say the equivalent of $1, you made a hundred bucks. That's great. But the flip side is, if it loses 1%, if it loses one cent, and you've done a leverage trade for what's called a hundred X, you lose everything. It creates much more abrupt uh, changes. Some people get rich very quickly, some people lose their shirt very quickly, and sometimes some people do both in the same day. What's really interesting is that most people do not know much about derivative trading, especially not about cryptocurrency derivatives trading. But the order of magnitude of the trades that are taking place is starting to get really, really big. Those derivative trading markets they dwarf traditional trading in cryptocurrency already. And let's say that you don't care about cryptocurrencies. You think that this whole thing is basically, you know, monopoly money. That's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. But given that those derivative markets now are trading volumes that are roughly on par with what the New York Stock Exchange is trading every day, your financial advisor may not have the same line of thought and might actually invest or be interested in those assets. So ultimately, what we have is a new class of assets that is starting to play a significant role on the overall financial markets.